Hi everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today we are diving into a fundamental concept in system design EXI and its 4 KB boundary. First off, what is this EXI? EXI stands for Advanced Extensible Interface and it is part of the ARM Advanced Microcontroller Bus Architecture which is alias is AMBA protocol. It is widely used in high performance systems to manage memory and data transfers efficiently. Now let's talk about the 4KB boundary. In the context of AXI and memory transactions, the 4KB boundary refers to aligning the data transfers to 4KB blocks. But why this 4KB? Well, in many computer systems, memory is divided into pages of 4KB, which is a common page size in virtual memory systems. That is, it has been used in memory fragmentation in popular computer architectures like x86 which is being a balanced choice for efficient memory usage. This boundary is helps in several ways like memory efficient access that is nothing but by aligning the data transfers to these boundaries, memory access becomes more straightforward as well as efficient. Now coming to the second point where complexity reduction here handling the transactions which cross these boundaries can be complex so aligning to the 4kb simplifies the process and the last one is efficiency in cache where many cache systems are optimized for 4kb pages so aligning with this size can help reduce the cache misses let's see an example here we have the address range of 1 starting with 0x000 let's say I'm starting with the address called 0x0ff0 and assume it as 32 bytes where it starts with 0xff0 and it will end at 0x1010 and when it crosses 4kb boundary it will reaches the exact uh, split value which is 0xfff and this is the split between both the address range 1 and address range 2 here. So when it enters into this stage, here the 4KB is already been attained. So now what will happen in the sense, the second part or the part of uh, splitting will happen with the next address which is 0x100 here. So the second part starts with the new transaction here with 0x100. So now this will end with 0x1 triple of this is of the next set of 4kb category so now let's say the next another set of uh, uh, data which is been passing so you can see when it comes to address range 3 which is the next boundary where we are getting 0x2 triple 0 which already been exceeded the 1 triple of and it is been ending with 2 triple of which is also uh, again another 4kb boundary so when this 4kb boundary exceeds it moves to the next address range where the splitter transaction happen and the next address range starts from 0x3000 which is ending into 0x3000 and another 4kb and so on it appears. So this is how the 4kb addressing usually happens and that's it about this video. If you have any further doubt please let me know. Thank you. Have a nice day.